This is Metroid Prime's true form. The first bit was just his armor. But this is the core essence of Metroid Prime. This form, you can't do a thing to scratch it with your normal weapons. His main attack will just be to just fire off the, that plasma wave. The fat plasma, phase on wave. But honestly, for a front of boss, this guy has a really simple pattern. He'll try to charge you like that though, but if you, as long as you keep circling, it'll be okay. However, he'll also create a pool of phase on, and he'll tr be constantly switching in, turning invisible. Now, the first time he does this, you'll have to you the X-ray visor is what you need to see him. But there'll be times where you have to use your. Can I? Can I? I need to see him. But you see, you saw the hyper mode there. Well, when you stand in that pool of phase on, you can your suit will actually absorb the phase on, and you can unleash it into a phase on beam. This is the only way you can hurt Metroid Prime. But this is the thing that has been... This is the thing that's been guarding it. And, and he switched over to the thermal visor setting. Ah! Get away from that! I need to get to that! And in fact, if you play the GameCube version, the pirates would have also have talked about how this thing had gave them problems driving them away stealing their technology and even turning it against them this thing this thing is pretty much the source of the fate the reason why of all the, because of all the phase on here and to top it off as it starts taking damage it will summon Metroids to help it now these look like no, now these are no, these are, it starts with normal Metroids but this but that's not the only type of Metroid it can Crap, but it can summon. I vote in and just blast it in the face. Okay, I'm switching to the ice beam because he's about he's about, about down to half. And when he's down to this point, and when he's down to about this point, he's gonna start summoning a different type of Metroid. Let's see if I can get him. Go across. Come on, come on. Because he summons lots of Metroid! Oh, uh, how'd I miss that? Well, at least I, at least I managed to freeze it before he... Before that. But he's back to his X-ray visor. A guidebook I read actually said it was random. However, every time that i fought this boss, it has always been normal to X-ray visor, to the thermal visor, back to, back to normal, and it just keeps going in a cycle like that. I mean, if someone has seen otherwise, feel free to tell me. But, but every time I face this boss, it's that way. But, but like I said, this boss is a pretty, is a pretty easy pattern, actually, even especially for a final boss. But to think that this thing is the source, the source of the phase on from this thing, from the, from this planet, and more hunted Metroids. I think there are two of them this time. Blast it! Yes, got him. It's actually not as easy to see them in the in that one. Whoa! Sorry, one visor again. Hyper mode and shoot it in the face! All right, come on. Maybe it's just me, but I I remember this going quicker in the GameCube version. Come on. Come on, summon another pool of phase on. That's pretty much the only problem with this fight is you have to wait for it to summon the pool of phase on to get past that predictable attack pattern and it's switching to the back to the, to the normal visor. To combat visor. And I'm doing a horrible job just dodging that. It's even though it's so simple. Alright, please summon the Okay, there's still a hunter one in there. Vision Metroid, I'm not worried about because this point. This is why I was telling. This is why you wanted to save any some of your power bombs. Is is for this because once the Vision Metroids come out, you want to deal with them as quick as you can. 
The Metroid is basically served to be an annoyance. Kind of like the, the how the different troopers were to be an annoyance back in the Omega Pirate fight. But otherwise, especially given everything that we've gotten so far, this, this, this boss really isn't that much of a problem. Okay. Oh, there's still a hunter among them! Okay, I'll just let it hit me because the number goes down too slow. Okay. What, what, what was it? How, how did that miss? Okay. Oh, am I not in the pool? Oh, ow! Blast it in the... Ow! But, yeah. Metro Prime really isn't hard, that hard of a boss. And as you saw there, he is, when he's near dead, he will start summoning fission Metroids. Again, that's what save you. That's why I would say save at least a power, a, a few power bombs for that. But yeah, after he, but yeah, finally, we are finally near the end of this. After seeing the Chozo, or after seeing the Chozo lore about what this, uh, about the Great Poison. Seen the pirate data and, and, and what they've wanted to do with the phase on. And in the GameCube version, at least, see, seeing how they dealt with how they've had to deal with this thing as well. Finally, it's almost, it'll be almost be over. And I am doing horrible for this. Yeah, he's still got a little bit of health left. That was a, hor that was a horrible shot there. So, but finally, it's almost it's almost over. After seeing everything that we've seen, the training montage, fulfilling the prophecy of the Chozo, to finally to be the ones that destroyed the the Great Poison and purge it from this purge it from this land. Fine. Power. Let's, let's, let's blast the East Fisherman Metroids once more, and he's in his normal. In the combat visor for this one. Good. Now we can see it properly as we deliver the. F oh, I thought I was in the pool. Where is it? Come on, come on! I don't want to waste this. Come on, come on! There we go. And just like that, Metro Prime has come to an end. Alright. This. I hope that y'all see how this is one of my favorite Metroid games out there with this one. I mean, I mean even with the 3D environment, so you, it still felt like you were really exploring the planet, though, even though you had the hint system along the way. 
which I can't believe I never turned that off. I, I really can't believe it. But still, this is this is amazing. This is such a great game, guys. So and. And I know a lot of people agree with me on this, though. Like, this is a pretty popular game. This is the one that really brought Metroid out out there, especially after especially after Met Metroid series skipped the N64. Like, there, and from what I read, there were plans for there to be an N64 Metroid game, though, like, like a 3D style one. I guess kind of a forerunner of what other round was going to be. Uh, well, as far as like. As far as like with the 3D shooter gameplay style, not the rest of the stuff that was another M, which, but that's a that, that's a story for another day. But in any, but this was this was what brought Metroid back up to the to everyone's attention. I mean, aside from that, the N64, the only thing Metroid had was Samus's inclusion in Smash Brothers, where she was probably one of the worst characters in there. As much as I, as much as I like. As much as I like her, I like Samus. She was not a she, she was not a good character to play as in, in in the original 64 game. But I'm getting off track. Back to Metroid Prime. This game, I really like this style of gameplay though. Like normally I'm not a big fan of the first person style, but here it really works. And like it really works. It really, I mean. Metroid, it's always been a lot of it's always been about exploring the land, seeing what's around there, and even with the 3D system, even with the hint system, this I really feel that this game really immerses you into into that environment. It's it's just and this was a I mean yeah you got your you got your usual worlds, but I like the level design for the most part in this one, but yeah. As far as this as my let's as my let's play, I really am ashamed of the, how I started this, especially with my poor mic quality, with the my not really knowing how to properly edit videos. But I think this will be. I think this. I think I. I think this got better as I went as I, as I got started getting more into this. But. Just, but everything like that, it, it's over now. So we finally leave Talon 4, a place purged of Metroid Prime of the Phazon. And percentage complete 100%. And hyper mode difficulty active, that basically means, that's basically hard mode. But 100%. I am content. Well, I guess that, that's, that's the end of it. Till then, see you next mission.